Today's our day to fly the new King Air C90 GTX. New features include winglets and a gross weight increase of 385 pounds. For takeoff, we used a V1 of 91 knots and climbed away at 2300 feet per minute. That's with three people aboard and at about 9,700 pounds. The whole idea behind the GTX is to make it a true pilot plus four passengers, 1,000 nautical mile airplane. Okay, we're now at flight level 260 in the uh, brand new King Air C90 GTX with the winglet and the increased gross weight. Uh, we've set our maximum cruise power, which is 1,170 pounds of torque. And you see our ITTs are well under control. Props stay at 1900. And what we've got is a true airspeed of 265 knots uh, and under ISA plus four conditions. So that's, that's, that's better than we can expect. It goes right by book. These are absolute book numbers. Actually, we're about two knots faster than book, even though it's ISA plus four, uh, indicating 176 knots. This is a Collins, Rockwell Collins Proline 21 setup, and all the work is done down here on these uh, uh, two FMS units. Okay, that screen failed, and now we've got uh, our moving map, attitude indicator, airspeed, altitude, and engine information all in one screen. Okay, we're going to demonstrate the auto feather system on the C90 GTX. When it detects a drop in bleed air from one of the engines, it'll automatically uh, feather the, the propeller of the sick engine. And it'll also uh, give you rudder boost to help you keep the uh, yaw under control. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach over and I'm going to shut the gas off to the right engine. There's the yaw. Okay, this is the King Air uh, fuel control panel. Your, your boost pumps stay on all the time. The, one of the unique things about the uh, King Air is that it pumps fuel up from the main tanks to the nacelle tanks. Uh, I think it's 55 gallons in the nacelle tanks in each of these uh, nacelles. And so the tr transfer pump is what does the work there. The boost pump helps uh, maintain fuel pressure. So. What, what we're looking at now is the uh, fuel quantity in the uh, wing tanks, okay? If you move this to the nacelle position, you can see that there's less fuel in the nacelles. We have 400 pounds per, per size of the nacelles. When these wing tanks get down into the yellow arc, that's when you know you're working on the nacelle fuel, and that's when this starts to get critical. So when the nacelle fuel gets down into the yellow, it's time to be on the ground. There's benefits to having the winglets. These include reduced stall speeds, increases in rates of climb, decreases in times to climb, and reduced fuel burns. Hawker Beach says that uh, where C90s used to burn 600 pounds per hour, about 90 gallons an hour in the first hour of flight, the GTX burns 10 gallons an hour less, or 540 pounds per hour. As for landings, at the final approach fix, reduce power to 500 foot-pounds, lower the gear, and select approach flaps. This yields about 120 to 130 knots. On short final, reduce power slightly and select full flaps. This will give you about 100 knots. Cross the threshold, go to flight idle, and the result ought to be a great landing. Thanks for flying along with us today.